Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo, Japanese Everyday Food. Today we are making Japanese strawberry shortcake. Layered soft and moist sponge cake and sweet and fluffy whipping cream. Tangy and juicy Japanese strawberries inside go so well together. This cake is the most popular cake in Japan, as a birthday cake and even Christmas dessert. This is a French cake but developed uniquely in Japan and the best selling cake in any pastry shop. There are the ingredients for 6 inch cake mold. To get the full recipe, visit our website. The link is in the description box below. Spray non stick oil evenly, then line the bottom and the side with paper. Preheat the oven to 170 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Add eggs to a large mixing bowl and beat until the egg white and egg yolk combined. Beat the eggs back and forth, not circulate motion, to break the firmness of the egg white. When it's mixed, add sugar and mix well. Place the bowl over simmering water to warm egg mixture. This step will dissolve the sugar and make the fresh firm eggs watery to easy to whisk. Use your hand mixer set on high, whip the eggs for 5 minutes. First 2 minutes of whipping makes eggs double in volume. Continue whipping until very thick and firm enough to draw a line. When you draw a line like this and you see it for more than 3 seconds, it's done. Next, sift my flour into a bowl. and sift again onto the egg mixture. Start folding like this. Lift and fold, lift and fold until no flower to be seen. Then continue mixing like cutting and cut and cut out. I named this mixing method cut mixing. This will combine all the ingredients thoroughly. If the butter is not mixed enough, the final product will become dry and sandy. Then add the oil. In goes my oil, vanilla and the two scoops of the butter. Mix one direction until emulsified. Then add to the rest of the butter and mix until homogenized. Here is the reason why I'm using the oil instead of butter. The butter will become solid again when it chilled in the fridge. That means the sponge cake will be hardened. Oil not be solid in the fridge and keeps sponge cake soft and moist. When you finish mixing, the butter should be fluffy and glossy. Pour the butter into prepared cake pan and tap onto the counter to remove the air bubbles. The butter should come to halfway up is good. Now pop this into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until done. When you push the center of the cake and spring back, it's done. Tap onto the counter to remove the hot air so it cannot be shrinking. Take out onto the wire rack upside down and let it cool. Now let's prepare the filling. Wash and clean the strawberries and wipe off the water. Choose good looking strawberries to garnish and set aside. Slice 5 strawberries to go in between the cake, cut in half lengthwise. Mix my syrup and liqueur and set aside. Let's whip the cream. Put the bowl on the smaller bowl filled with icy water. Pour heavy cream, sugar, vanilla essence. Whip the cream until soft peaks form. Now let's assemble. Put the sponge cake onto a turntable upside down. Slice the cake bottom and discard so that it tastes better. Mark 2 cm about a 3 quarter inch from the bottom while rotating the cake. Slice the cake along the line horizontally. Keep cutting along with the line in front of you and the other side.
Now, the another angle. Put the bottom layer onto the turntable and put the syrup on. Soak my brush into my syrup and put and soak. Do not brush your syrup like this, otherwise your cake surface will get soggy. Just put and soak. Pipe raspberry jam to an accent of the taste. This is optional. Drop 1 to 2 scoops of whipped cream and spread from inside to the edge. Do not overwork, otherwise the cream loses its fluffiness and becomes hard. The more you work, the more cream becomes harder. Line strawberries a quarter inch inside from the edge stem outside. Make a space onto the center. You can't cut the cake beautifully if the strawberry is in the center. Drop more whipped cream and spread to fill the spaces in between the strawberries. Layer the cake and soak the syrup. Fill the gap between the layer. Drop the generous amount of whipped cream on top. Save about 2 scoops of cream for garnishing. Spread the cream evenly on the surface and the side. Again, do not overwork. The less is better. Finish working while the cream shiny and glossy. Run your palette knife vertically and smooth the side and horizontally and smooth the surface. Insert the tip of the palette knife to the bottom to remove the cream touching the turntable. Transfer the cake to a cake stand. Drop the saved cream on top and cover the surface like snow-capped mountain. Garnish with pretty strawberries and mint leaves. For the final touch, dust with powdered sugar. This is the easiest way to finish like a pro. Put cookies if it is someone's birthday. When you cut the cake, use heated slavic knife. Heat every single cut so you can get the cream cut. Let me taste it. The whipping cream is so fluffy. The sponge cake is so moist. Melt in my mouth. The strawberry is born to be on the cake. This is the cake we love so much. So give it a try. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe my channel if you haven't already. I will show you more delicious recipes. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again and see you next time!